Hi everyone, this is Jennifer Beamer, owner operator of Expertly Diet Art by Science. This is episode 15 of my daily vlogs, and I did promise you that I would post a video when my wool finally arrived. It actually got to Korea about mm, three weeks ago, <laughs> but with a little snafu at customs, it took forever to get here. And really, all it was, Korea doesn't like to import shorn wool specifically shorn wool air quotes and um, I didn't know this and when um, my friend applied the um, code to the box that's actually what delayed it really for three weeks and it took me forever going back and forth with the FedEx guy and thank goodness he actually helped me you know most people are like eh, I really don't want to help you I'm just gonna you know pass you along to somebody else and then to somebody else and then you get frustrated and you're unsatisfied and you're like, well, I don't know what to do, and then you send it back, right? Something tragic like that. But this guy actually helped me out, which was fabulous. <laughs> um, and what was even better is he spoke English. That's kind of a rare thing here, especially um, like international delivery services. Like when I go to the post office down here, no one speaks English. A little bit. And I kind of get through with a little bit of Korean that I know and the little English they know. We kind of like figure out what to do. And I've also in, I've, I've shipped a lot of international packages, so I kind of have an idea of how it goes. But, you know, I've never shipped it from a foreign country to the United States, for example. So, um, so yeah, I was, I was truly grateful for this guy being able to speak English to me. And um, the result was just changing the code and completely bypassed inspection and quarantine and all that other crazy scary stuff that it would have taken like three months to get through. Oh, so, the wool is here. <laughs> and this weekend I am going to be making some more bats. And I have a preview. Ta-da! Now this one um, is a little, it's going to be more like a special bat because I used um, these are mohair locks, right? And I only have a few of those. So this is going to be one of those special pieces um, for sale. But I will be... Okay, so this this box, it was a 50-pound box. And I, I turned to look at it because it's huge. <laughs> and I had my coworker with me, and she thought, do you need help? You know, and I was like, uh, no, I got it. So I'm, like, carrying this huge box. Um from the, we took the taxi, uh, we, from the taxi all the way upstairs <laughs> to the ninth floor, and I was so excited, but I, when I finally got a chance to, like, open up and, like, pull everything out, oh, <sighs> my personal stash of wool has gone to, like, I don't know, I think I have, uh, five ounces of dyed wool that, um, I brought here originally I probably had about five pounds <laughs> and it's like all gone now so I'm really excited to get back to creating and, and mixing and matching stuff but uh, I thought I would give you guys a little preview I will be um, carding like mad for the next probably month or two and this stuff is going to be shipped back I don't know if it's gonna be all at once or like in two two batches or something but I'm gonna send it out probably as soon as I can really um, to America, specifically Maine, because um, darn you, uh, Nicole at Darn Good Yarn is going to be selling my bats wholesale and retail. So if you are a fiber enthusiast and you like my stuff, uh, when this stuff does get to her, it will be available for purchase online. And if you like own a shop or something like that online, brick and mortar, you can actually buy through her via wholesale as well. Um, so at this time, I'm only going to be wholesaling to her just to keep things a little bit easier. I don't want th too many things building up on my plate, so uh, I'm just going to keep it simple. <laughs> anyway, so it's here. I'm excited. I will be posting some more photos on my uh, Facebook page, which has sort of been eh, as late because I have all these things I want to do for it, but I haven't had a lot of time. And if you want to know why I haven't had a lot of time, you can go and watch episode 14, which I'll post somewhere up here. Um, and, uh, you know, then you'll know why I've kind of been sort of hit, hit or miss lately. So anyway, if you like this video, please like, thumbs it up, and uh, share. Um, 
really I'm just relying on you guys with the spreading spreading of the word of mouth. <laughs> I should probably edit that out because it sounded stupid. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> if you're not a subscriber yet, please subscribe. I try to put new content content. Up. <laughs> Sorry, I try to put new content out pretty regularly, like every few days. Um, including stuff about my trips and adventures around in Korea. So, anyway. <laughs> Alright, bye!